Just another day here in paradise, huh? <laughs> you said it. At least we have all of this barren land to look at for hours on end. <laughs> True, but you know, it could be worse. We could be Berserker. <laughs> berserker? What about Berserker? <laughs> what about Berserker? Are you serious? You know he got in a lot of trouble, right? Like, he kinda rose up against Bludgeon. You don't rise up against Bludgeon. Ever. <laughs> Foolish Decepticon. You two, step aside. We're here on important business and we need to see Bludgeon immediately. <laughs> Is that so? Well, Bludgeon's a little preoccupied right now. He's dealing with some business. You're gonna have to come back at a more suitable time. Really? Look, I'm sure that he wants to see us. And do you two really want to be the reason that he misses out on very vital news concerning the Autobots and Cybertron? Cybertron? No, that's not possible. Is it? Maybe we should let him pass. What? Look, I'm not going to be the reason that we get in trouble for not allowing vital information to make its way to Bludgeon. Just saying. Fair point. All right, you can pass. Smart choice. Perhaps the smartest one you've made yet. Who knows, maybe you two are destined for something better than just garden. Did you hear that? That was a compliment. I don't think that was a compliment. At least, not a sincere one. You believe whatever you like. As far as I'm concerned, if it looks like a compliment, it sounds like a compliment, it's a compliment, and I'm gonna count it. Call me an optimist. So, my dear Berserker, enough fun and games for now, Bludgeon. What are you talking about, Knockout? What am I talking about? Barricade. This is just senseless brutality for the sake of brutality. It's not serving any purpose other than to damage one of our own soldiers. Incorrect. It has two purposes. First, it's fun to watch. Secondly, it's a valuable lesson in following the rules and being obedient. Well, I find it distasteful. 
probably because as the medic, I'm the one who's going to have to patch him up. Nevertheless, you and I are very different Decepticons and have very different ideas of what counts as entertainment. Agreed. <coughs> Ahem, <clears throat> uh, not to interrupt or anything, Bludgeon. I understand that you are dealing with an issue of obedience, but we have returned and we have news that we thought would be of vital interest to you concerning the Autobots. Is that sufficient, Berserker? Have you learned your lesson? Prime has confirmed that the Autobots will be returning to Cybertron. They will be using the Skylinks as their mode of transportation. How curious. Without an actual ship, they will have to submit some of their own energon in order to fuel Skylinks with enough power to make it from here to Cybertron. But why such a rush? Why such desperate measures. What could be back there? We will have to pursue and find out for ourselves. There was actually a lot of chatter about saving Primus and the universe collapsing and saving Cybertron. Yes, but none of it really made much sense. Saving Primus and home what could it mean? Optimus obviously has information that we are lacking, which means we must return to Cybertron first. Knockout. Repair the Berserker. Barricade. Ensure that he and all of our troops are brought together in the main hall. It is time for us have a meeting and strategize and a way for us to return home as well. Oh, hum. Fine. As you command, Bludgeon. No mercy. No mercy at all. Chop shop. No. More finesse. Berserker knows the error of his ways. And I am confident that from this moment forward, you will once again come back into the fold as a vibrant member of our team. I see that you have all assembled. Nice work ensuring that the troops fall in line, Barricade. After all, our team is only as strong as our unity. Of course, sir. All loyalty is to you. Hail Bludgeon. Hail me indeed. But all of you have a vital role to play in the future of the Decepticon Empire. For if we are to beat the Autobots back to Cybertron, then we must depart immediately. I will be asking all of you to volunteer a sizable portion of your energy to fuel our mode of transport, our ship, Tidal Wave. Tidal Wave. Yeah, are we so sure that Tidal Wave is our choice for transportation here? I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I agree with Croc. He 
is our best, last, and only form of transport. Now, who will be the first to boldly offer a part of their own energon supply to help fuel our quest home? I volunteer my I do too. How about you, Knockout? What? Me? I hadn't particularly planned on it, but... <sighs> what the scrap? If it's what everybody else is doing, then I'll volunteer some of my energon as well. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, what do you know? Look what the Cybercat dragged in. Well, of course. I mean, we're here, slaving away for the boss. And those guys just waltz in like nothing's happening. They're supposed to be scouts, but they never bring anything interesting. <laughs> maybe, maybe today I'll be different, right? <laughs> right? Right. Report. Hey, Dreadnought, we need to speak to Overlord directly. We found out something real juicy, real important. Impossible. Out of the question. The Overlord is in deep concentration regarding his next course of action. You will give me the report, and I will relay the information to him. Huh. I seriously doubt that it is anything of consequence. A sound wave? It is too of consequence. You don't know, Dreadwing. You weren't even there. Now. Dreadnought, like I said, I want to speak to the Overlord directly. What's up with you today, Trigger Happy? Look, just give Dreadnought the report like usual. We both know that nothing important happened. Nothing important ever does. Hey, you weren't there. Like Trigger Happy said, something big did happen today. It has to do with the Autobots going back to Cybertron, I can tell you that much. Stop this jibber-jabbering and make your full report to me now. I demand it. <sighs> Enough. <laughs> ah, I'm tired of listening to your petty squabbling. Now then, Trigger Happy, dazzle me, but be forewarned that if I'm not impressed with your information, the consequences will be most unpleasant. Well, you see, Misfire and I, we took out an Autobot, but she was saved by Twin Twist and Topspin. Anyway, during the uh, competitive battle that was going on, the Autobots got called back to base. Well, naturally, we followed them back, and we heard Nova talking about how they had to get all of the Autobots back from the field and get them all together because they were leaving to go back to Cybertron to save Primus because apparently all of the universes have collapsed into one. It, uh, it was pretty complicated, but the bottom line is that they're planning on leaving here and going home or, or well, back to the coordinates in space where home should be. It was kind of strange, but yeah, they're, they're, they're leaving here. That much I can tell you for sure. Uh, do you think you guys would have won the battle if you hadn't been interrupted? What? Of course we would have won, but that's not the important thing here. The important thing is that the Autobots are leaving this planet and going back to Cybertron. Yeah, but that's not all. Let's not forget that the Metroplex ship is also almost ready to go. Obviously, uh, that's going to be what they're traveling in, but I mean, they're not just leaving the planet, but they're going to be leaving the planet real, real soon, too. Well, well, well. Isn't that an interesting set of developments. I guess that cuts it then. We know what our next course of action has to be. Do we? 
Of course. If they're going back to Cybertron, then we're going back to Cybertron. We did good this time, right, boss? I mean, me and Misfire, we did good this time, right? You did. To my shock, your buffoonery didn't get in the way of vital information for once. All this is well and good, but uh, do we actually have a concrete plan here? We do. I will contact our operatives still in the field. Slog Slinger, Reflector, the rest of you will prepare to leave. Amass energon supplies. They will be vitally necessary. Because I'm going to require those resources myself. You see, I will serve as our ship home. A collection of energon from each of you is about to take place before you are put into stasis lock for the journey home. Dirge, Thrust, Ramjet, you will oversee the collection of Energon. <laughs> Strap yourselves in, boys. We're going home. Wow, you really messed your hand up and left it for so long with just the fluids coming out of it. Everything is seized up. We're probably just going to have to rebuild it. What were you thinking, Quillfire? Don't blame me. It was Thunderhoof's fault. I wanted to come back to base, but no, he wanted to pursue the Autobots further. Hey, for the last time, I'm gonna tell you to stop your belly aching and complaining. Nobody wants to hear it. Besides, the information that we found out is worth you being uh, inconvenienced a little bit, don't you think? Stop being so selfish, Quillfire. Hmm. Indeed. Are you telling me that the information that you possess, Thunderhoof, is important enough that it was worth risking the health and welfare of Quillfire? Well, this must be vitally important. I can't wait to hear what it is. Important? Important? That's really in the eye of the beholder, I suppose. In the end, I think that this isn't as important as my hand. I'm sure it's just the ramblings of Autobots that will eventually amount to nothing. Hey, Quillfire, why don't you stop moving so that I can get these scans of your hand? That way I can get right to replicating the new parts necessary. You'll be as good as new before you know it. Dear Quillfire, Silence. Now, Thunderhoof, please proceed to explain to me what glorious information you bring me on this fine day. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Quillfire. Trap ya yap. Now, as I was trying to explain earlier, the Autobots are gearing up to board Sentinel Prime himself and leave here. They're leaving the planet. As a matter of fact, they have a destination in mind. And that destination, believe it or not, is Cybertron. That's right. The Autobots are preparing as we speak to leave here to go back to Cybertron. Why they'd want to go back to that energonless husk, I don't know. But apparently it's something real important. Ah, that is quite interesting, especially considering we are almost prepared with our own latest project. One that should allow us to leave this dust ball. Final preparations have been overseen by my dear Arachnid, and I have high hopes that our team, who have been diligently working, have all of the kinks ironed out so that our base may become our ship. So, the Autobots want to leave the planet? That's fine. 
we will do the same in a pursuit course. Bisk, final check before test transformation, please. All systems read nominal. Energon flow regulations consistent. Fuel cells at maximum. What's the propulsion rates like? Are we ready to disconnect yet? Mm-hmm. Check. What of stabilizers? <laughs> Checking front stabilizers. All systems are go. Rear stabilizers. All systems are go. Systems go? For what? Oh, Thunderhoof, you don't even realize that you're about to bear witness to history. For we are about to transform our landlocked base here into a fully fledged propulsioned space faring ship please crew initiate transformation sequence independent energy circulation established Paralon, you can disconnect the Energon flow tube. Done. <laughs> yes, yes. Opening <sighs> Energon flow to TCOG and transformation circuitry. Finally. <laughs> yes, dear friends. We have finally succeeded in taking that which was immobile and molding it so that it can become our source of escape from this place. Initiate. Come on. Work. <laughs> we even have a new mission. With our enhanced sensors, we'll be able to hang back far enough behind the Autobots and follow Sentinel Prime and his crew back to Cybertron. We'll see what they're up to. And they won't even know that we're there until it's too late. Fascinating. Simply fascinating. But what could it mean? These temporal readings are all over the map. Certainly I will have to give them closer inspection. What nonsense are you blathering about now, Shockwave? Do you have an explanation yet for the oddities occurring with our memory circuits? Negative. But I am confident that it has something to do with these peculiar readings. Tell me, Starscream, have you any memories before the flash of bright light? Anything? Anything at all? What sort of a question is that? Of course I do! I did this. Had... Well, there was... that... And now what? Come to think of it, I don't believe I do. What does that mean, Shockwave? Unknown at this time. Hmm. Very curious and perplexing indeed. We have returned. Oh, well, I would applaud and cheer, Megatron. If I'd even noticed that you were gone. Been doing more important things, what do you think? We'd just sit around here waiting for you to return. Oh, Starscream. Your breath of sarcasm and lack of finesse never ceases to disappoint me. But there are indeed more important things transpiring right now. Shockwave, 
myself and others very recently experienced a bright flash of light. This seems to be wreaking havoc with our memory circuits. Do you have any answers? Have you performed any scans? Can you tell me anything that might be helpful or useful at all? Alas, very little, I'm afraid, Megatron. I have taken some peculiar temporal readings, and I can tell you that the flash is a widespread experience. All of us have been adversely affected by it, and all of us have suffered from memory lapses. This is most certainly more than just an isolated phenomenon. However, it will require further analysis. This was probably an Autobot plot all along, and while we stay here, in mass confusion, they're probably conspiring against us. Way to lead, Megatron. Why, Starscream, you ingrate. The truth hurts, doesn't it, Megatron? Face it, you have failed us as a leader, and it's time for someone else to take the reins. Namely, me. <laughs> You, Starscream. You, the biggest buffoon among the Decepticon ranks. Lead? Never. Besides, I know that this is not an Autobot ploy. I can't explain how I know. But I do know this flash is something far more profound. Feel it deep, deep within my own spark. <laughs> Besides, Starscream, it's not like anyone would follow your lead anyway. How dare you speak to me in such a tone quake? You would fall in line soon enough just as everyone else would. I guarantee it. I've heard enough. Stop it, both of you. And the fact of the matter is, this is not an Autobot ploy. Starscream leads nothing, and we still have no answers as to what caused this flash and why we can't remember anything from before it. Download from your cerebral core has commenced. Readings remain normal. Excellent. Now let's hope that this yields positive results. Just what exactly are you hoping to accomplish by doing this? That is actually a fair question, Starscream. I seem to be the only one aware that there's more going on here than initially our optic sensors. I know that there's a bigger event occurring. I can't explain it, but perhaps there is something unique about my physiology, or at least my memory banks, which may help provide answers. Until we have those answers, for now, no stone shall go unturned. Astonishingly, your readings are even more in temporal flux than those that I took immediately following the flash. I cannot explain it, but you are operating at a, a different temporal level than the rest of us. Perhaps that is what is infusing you with extra insight. Intriguing. Quite, but that's not all. You, you seem to have extra circuitry, an extra organ, if you will. I am unfamiliar with its configuration, but there is a lot here that will definitely require further analysis and study, especially in comparison to my earlier readings. Probably nothing. 
anything worthwhile. After all, we are talking about Motor Master and the Gas Guzzler Gang. Stars could be for any comic names. <laughs> you must have gone in this fragile little fuse. What a pity. Seriously, though, for your information, we do have news. Big news. Oh, sure you do. I have no doubt. <laughs> I hear your skepticism, Starscreamer. Oh yeah, I definitely hear it. But you know what? You're about to eat your words because we do have big news. Real big news. At least if you call the Autobots leaving this planet big news. I would call that big news. Nobody asked for your opinion, Astro Train. Leaving, you say? What? Oh, yeah, boss. I, we were... Or rather, Minnesota was just on the verge of pulverizing a couple of Autobots right into dust when Rodimus Prime made the save. Anyway, he was ordering everyone to go back to base. Well, I knew that the best thing we could do was follow him back and find out what was going on because he sounded real serious about it. So we went back, we followed him back. And then you recorded his whole speech to the Autobots. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean, leaving the planet? How would they do that? We need a ship to leave the planet. As much as I hate to admit it, Astro Train is right. I mean, it doesn't matter what kind of wonderful speech was given. If they can't follow through, then who cares? A valid point. Well then, I guess the question should be asked. In his speech, did Herodotus Prime give any indication as to how exactly they were planning to leave the planet? Oh yeah. How oh, did he ever? They plan to reactivate the fortress. Is that so? Shockwave, your research will have to wait until we return home. Astro Train. The onus will be upon you to serve as our transport. We will siphon our energy onto you and remain in stasis for the duration of the voyage. Home. Yes. Yes, that has something to do with all of this. I don't know what, but if the Autobots intend to go there, then we will as well. I hope that you make my accommodations comfortable, Astro Train, so that I can slumber peacefully. Call all of our forces back from the field. We must prepare to leave. In the meantime, Astro Train, make whatever personal preparations you must. I realize the burden of responsibility that I am placing upon you. Burden? Don't worry about a burden. I'm up for any task. Don't worry. I'll get you home to Cybertron safely. Hmm. Huh. Well, these ratings don't seem right. Hmm. Huh. Cross-checking? Hmm. Yeah, this definitely isn't right. Uh, hey, Skyfire, you might want to come over here and take a look at these readings. Something's closing in. Something strange, and it's coming in fast. Hmm? What was that, Storm Shot? Repeat, I must apologize. I was into an experiment and missed what you said. Really, Skyfire? Look, your experiment is important, I know, but it can probably wait. These readings... Probably can't, or at least shouldn't. Look, we still have some time before whatever this is arrives. Maybe it's just a meteor or asteroid, but I can't discern any form of propulsion. I'm getting strange energy readings all over the place, and this is coming in at a really high velocity. Just suggesting that maybe we should investigate this before it arrives and investigates us. Well, I have never known you to be one to overreact, my friend. If you deem that this is a concern, 
worthy of investigation, then I suggest we send Superior. If anyone has a chance of redirecting whatever this object is onto an alternate course and an alternate trajectory away from us, it would most assuredly be him. Investigation request sent. I guess all we can do now is wait. Investigation request acknowledged. Let's see what's coming our way. Identify yourself. You won't get a second chance. Tell me, is Megatron here? Megatron? This is Autobot territory, so definitely not. The best thing you can do is leave. Silence! If Megatron is not here, then you are of no use to me. Shutting down. 